Hello again, I'm back and documenting my uh, quilting journey and I have another quilt ideal. I am going to take um, some, I'm going to use yardage this time, uh, which I don't do very often. I am going to take this border print with the two butterflies. Um, it's called Elysian by Jason, Jason Yenter. And I got uh, two half yards and two yards of um, complementary fabrics. And let me see if I can zoom in and show you the name of the, there it is, Elysian by Jason Yenter, manufactured by In the Beginning Fabrics. So here's my plan. With the yardage, um, the complementary prints, I'm going to um, cut them into three and a half by width of fabric strips. And so uh, various strips together, three of them. Um, so that's going to leave me with a 10 and a half by with the fabric strip. And I am going to cut my um, butterflies 10 and a half inches by 12 and a half and it'll, it should include two butterflies. And I am going to sew those on the ends and um, Kind of do uh it's not quite a jelly roll or it, how about this a strip quilt that's what we're calling it, butterfly strip quilt okay i'll be back with um the cutting and the sewing and then the finished quilt all right i'm back i'm on my dining table I, I needed a larger space to cut and i am just gonna cut um these two half yards into three and a half with the fabric strips. So I'm lining it up. I'm gonna clean up this edge. Okay, sorry if my arm is in the way. Now let's go to three and a half. All right, one, two, three and a half. Here we go. One, two, three and a half. Great. I'm just gonna do one so I, to make sure this ideal works. <laughs> okay. Oops, Daisy. So I have two there. Now I'm gonna do two of these. Sounds like my neighbors are getting their grass cut. I apologize. As soon as I start taping, it just seems like it gets loud around here. All right, gonna clean up this edge. Isn't this such a pretty color? And I doubled this one up, so it should turn out to have three, um, two strips, excuse me. Alrighty. One, one, two, three and a half. Okay. See, here we go. There we go. So I have two of those. All right. And the last one is this beautiful purple and blue and magenta and pink. Um, sorry. Let me get it lined up so that I can cut it. All right. Almost looks like patchwork. See these little look like little small three inch squares. All right, clean up this side. Right. There we go. And then let's go to three and a half. There we 
go. One, two, three and a half. Alrighty. All right, so I have two of those. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, sew these. You get three different ones. I'm going to sew these three, three and a half inch strips. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. And uh, three, three and a half with the fabric strands into um, a strip set. And then I am going to, I'm going to leave it whole. So hopefully it'll be about 42 to 43 inches. And Next, I'm going to cut the butterflies um, 10 and a half by 12 and a half. And the reason for that being when I sew these three, one, two, three, when I sew those together, it will end up 10 and a half. Um, so that's my ideal. So let me try that next, okay? All right, let me move these out of the way. And I did not, I wasn't able to completely starch these like I wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna start. And I'm opening it all the way up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this first border find my ruler and I'm gonna cut it by using this um, black the transitions right here I'm going to cut it let's see do you want a, a whole inch or a half an inch okay just doing some measurements real quick Ten and a half goes right there. Two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's eleven and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That give me enough room. So maybe I will cut this strip ten and three quarters so that this bottom strip will have a little black along the top of it. All right, so let me cut these and then I will come back. Okay, I am just going to straighten up these edges and then we're going to sew a strip together. I'm using the seams as my guideline. Move this out of the way. There we go. There's one side. And I remember to close my rotary cutter. And let's do the other side. line up some seams, take off the selfage. Take it all off. There we go. All right. There's a little piece on there, but that's okay. I can work that into the seam. All right, so let's go ahead and piece the strip together. Move that out of the way. And it's going to look something like this. So I'm going to have a block of the butterflies. Oh, wow. 
Is it nine and a half? <laughs> My quilting math is off. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine and a half. So I need to make these blocks smaller. Okay, I'll be back. Alrighty, I am going to make the correction. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm going to get a half. So I'm going to chop off some of this extra black at the bottom. But I'm realizing um, I only took a half inch seam allowance when I have three strips. So I should have took a full inch. But that's okay. Turns out uh, it'll work out anyway for me. My suggestion for you is if you do this, figure out the quilting math before you move forward. Or at least do an example. And that's what this is. This is my example strip. Okay, let me get my... Alrighty, let's see if this looks better. Alright. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Let's see, it's not in the camera for you. There it goes. So these will fit on here. And then I have another. And I'm going to flip it upside down for this side. And that's how it's going to look. Okay. I'll come back when I have the strips completed and a tentative layout. Okay, I'm going to sew my strip together really quickly. I keep saying really qu quickly, don't I? <laughs> Quarter and seam. There we go. And I do have a quarter inch foot on my machine. I put the strips facing up so that they won't get caught in my machine. I've added, I saw this hack where you could um, to help prevent your fabric from getting caught in the various pieces of your sewing machine. Uh, they put down uh, masking tape, but I thought I'd just try some painter's tape and it looks like it's working really well. I'm going to open this up. No seams should match in each um, strip uh, that I create, so I'm not too worried about that. So there's one. Now I'm going to flip it upside down. There we go. And put it on like this. And since I didn't starch, I am using pins. Um, it just feels a little stretchy to me. I'm only using two pins, but it still feels a little stretchy to me. Can't see the black, there it is, okay. There we go. string or thread working here. There we go. Quarter inch And I think I am just going to press this one towards the block. So let me press it really quickly. Thank you. 
Okay, here's my first strip. I like it, but I may um, take out the um, seam rip, these two seams, um, because I think I want it to have a black border all around it, um, just to make it a little more cohesive. Hmm. Well, I'll let you know when I decide, okay? Hi there, I am back and I just wanted to show you my finished um, strip sets. I have um, made seven of them. I was only going to make six until I did some more quilting math. And I figured out that um, these strips are nine and a half and they'll finish at nine. So nine times six is 54. That's a pretty short quilt. Um, 52 by 54 is pretty small. So I did one extra strip and that um, bumped it up to 52 by 63. And that's a lot better for me. I can add borders. I like a rectangular quilt um, and that's uh, that works for me better. I did border um, these blocks with a three and four, three fourths of an inch um, black, um, I don't know if we'll call it a sash in, but I'll call it a border for these, um, cause I only did the sides for these, uh, butterfly blocks. Okay. So my plan is, let me see if I can move this. My plan is to space them out in the quilt. So we'll see how that goes. All right. I'll get on my design wall. Um, I'm probably going to use, um, at least 16 inches apart and when i say 16 inches apart i am talking about the the butterfly box i don't want them to be too close to each other okay hi there back again almost done i have a tentative layout and i really love it i um still need to sew the strips together they again they're nine and a half inch by like 52 or 53 inches and I have seven of them. So I can't wait to sew them together. I still am contemplating if I should put a, like a one and a half or two inch black border all around, or should I just um, bind it in black? So I'd love your feedback on which I should do. I'm definitely gonna put some black minky on the back. I want it to be a luxurious butterfly strip quilt. And um, I'll come back when I've done that. For now, I'll just zoom in and show you some more of these beautiful butterflies. Look at that, it's gonna be gorgeous. It is gonna be gorgeous. Okay guys, I'll see you when I, I'm back and the quilt top will be done. It won't be quilted, but the top will be done. Okay, I am done. Just wanna show you the final result. I have made a couple of changes on the first strip. I put double butterflies on both sides because the left felt like it was a little lonely over there. Now the question I have is, do I border it in a small black border or do I bind it in black? Give me your thoughts, please. And thank you for watching.